So I've been recently looking at CO2 chamber mods for the Pistel X68 to determine how uh, much uh, value they add to the uh, power of the launcher. My initial findings are that uh, the CO2 mods, uh, regardless of brand, do very little, if not worse, with the stock barrel. So the CO2 expansion chamber modification for the back of the Pistel, Pistel X68 is uh, not efficacious um, to increase the power of your launcher if you're using a stock short barrel. Uh, however, uh, Tobias Seth has suggested to me that I run some additional tests to see if the CO2 chamber mod is efficacious if you're using a longer barrel. His findings are that the uh, CO2 chamber mod with the standard barrel does, does very little, and that is also what Dan Sterling had, has found. Um, however, we want to see if we add the CO2 chamber mod to an 11 and a half inch barrel, whether we can improve the performance over an 11 and a half inch barrel with a stock cap. What follows is four different ballistics tests or shooting range tests where um, I'm going to compare four different configurations. First is uh, the stock barrel and the stock cap. The second is an 11 and a half inch barrel with a stock cap. The third is a stock barrel with the CO2 mod expansion chamber. And the fourth configuration is the uh, 11 and a half inch MCS barrel with the uh, exp CO2 expansion chamber. Stock Pistel Gen 2 Pistel X68. Three thirty two. Three twenty. Three ten. Three hundred. Two ninety four. Two eighty eight. All right, it's been fifteen minutes. Stock Pistel Gen 2 with 11 half inch MCS barrel. Four ten. Three ninety. Three eighty. Three seventy. Three fifty eight.
356. All right, it's been 15 minutes. Here's our Gen 2 Vistel X68. Now it's got the stock barrel and it has a CO2 chamber, tuning chamber expansion module on it. Three fourteen. Three twelve. Two ninety six. Three oh four. Two eighty six, all right. It's been fifteen more minutes. Now we have the CO two chamber mod with the eleven and a half inch barrel on the Gen two. Pistel X sixty eight. Four twenty. Four sixteen. Four fourteen. Four hundred. Three ninety six. Three eighty four. So here's the wrap up and conclusions. Uh, the configuration C2 versus C1, the um, C2 configuration is 50% better, 49.89% better. So if you buy 11 and a half inch barrel and put that on your stock Pistel, you're gonna get 50% better performance in joules. Um, those barrels are, I'm thinking $60, $50-$60. Uh, um, so let's look now at uh, the next configuration <coughs> comparison, uh, C3 versus C1. Now this is the stock Pistel that's just had a replacement of uh, the CO2 module on the back. Um, I just got a 4.5% worse performance out of the CO2 mod than you would get uh, with the stock Pistel. Again, CO2 mod with a short barrel is not a value, not efficacious. Sean Kempter at Less Lethal for Dummies suggests that uh, this is uh, not an outlandish thing that the CO2 mod would actually give you worse performance with a short barrel than, um, than just the this, this stock cap. So obviously uh, this configuration C3 with the stock barrel and the CO2 cap is not a value and not efficacious, especially if you're spending $150, $200 for the chamber mod. 
All right, so now what we're going to do is compare configuration four versus configuration one. This is the long barrel and the CO2 mod compared to the stock Pistel. And what we found is that configuration four is 74%, 73.67% better than the uh, stock situation. Uh, you're getting 65 joules versus 37 joules. Um, also, let's look at configuration four versus configuration two. Um, what, we're what we're seeing is what sub Tobias Seth is suggesting, that the CO2 chamber mod only works well with a longer barrel, not a shorter barrel. And what we're seeing is 15%, 15.21% better performance uh, with the uh, you get out of your 11 and a half inch barrel when you're using a CO2 mod. So you're going to spend that $150, $200 to get about 15% better improvement. Um, the suggestion to me was that I that I do these tests, a six ball average test, and uh, that should um, uh, highlight or increase the uh, in increase the performance that you would see versus looking at the first two balls or the maximum uh, feet per second balls. So that was the test we did. So if you want to upgrade the performance of your X68 Pistel, here's, here's the situation. Um, for $60 for an extended barrel, you're going to get a 50% improvement over the stock pistol. Decent value. Okay, if you uh, are going to buy the CO2 mod uh, alone just to improve the performance of your pistol, you're going to spend $150 or more $200, and you might even have worse performance than you had before. No, okay. Barrel um, for your pistol, and you want to uh, improve the performance by about fifteen percent, maybe eighteen percent, twenty percent. Sometimes that's what other people are telling me it'll happen. I guess depending on the barrel length and the capacity of the CO two chamber. So if you want to spend a couple hundred bucks for the tuning chamber to get fifteen percent better performance out of your extended barrel that's your option <clears throat> so we are seeing that a better improvement over longer barrels with the co2 chamber mod uh, my apologies if these conclusions are uh, facts that uh, you've already known and didn't want to waste your 10 minutes watching this video and have not have you learn anything but um if uh you uh, didn't know uh, CO2 chamber mod with a small barrel, no good. CO2 chamber mod with a longer barrel, you'll get about 15% improvement. But the most value, the best value, is um, the long barrel with the standard cap on the stock pistol. Thank you. So you can get your Pistel X68 Gen 2s at lesslethalballistics.com. You can also get the extended barrels. We have a, a bundle where uh, you're going to get ammo, you're going to get extended barrel, and you're going to get the Pistel Gen 2 at a very reasonable price. Uh, come visit us today. Thank you.